Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. And welcome back on this Saturday evening. We're taking a look outside on the sleep tight sky cam right now, looking towards Broadway here on South 36th Street in Quincy. And we're seeing temperatures right now at this hour around 21 degrees. Uh, you can see here on our current observation from the airport, a few clouds are beginning to uh, enter the region. We're seeing a system uh, from the north that's going to be heading into our neck of the woods, just kind of clipping us, not expecting much in the way of snowfall, but we could see a couple of flurries out there overnight. And uh, the good news right now, we're not seeing any winds out there. Calm winds, so uh, wind chill is not a factor and temperatures are actually going to be rising as we head through the overnight hours. But right now, current temperatures outdoors. We're sitting at about 21 here in Quincy, 19 up towards Fort Madison, and uh, we were sitting in the uh, teens a few, uh, maybe an hour or two ago, but now we're starting to see those temperatures rise back up through the 20s and the uh, rising temperatures will remain the trend as we head through the overnight hours. So how's that for a change? We're actually going to see uh, our low temperature that was set just about a few hours ago, and now we're going to see overnight lows rising up overnight. And as we check out a look at the weather headlines, that's going to be the, one of the headlines tonight, the warming overnight, but then 40 degrees for tomorrow. We're going to be talking about temperatures uh, rising potentially close to uh, 42, 43 degrees here in Quincy. But by the time Monday rolls around, we're going to see a wind chill advisory going to affect very early Monday morning, and that's because winds are going to pick up a very gusty winds with the next arrival of a cold front, and that's going to push our wind chill values back towards the uh, negative 20 territory across portions of the tri-state. So uh, some dangerous wind chills will be in store for us as well. Current satellite radar, here's that system I was telling you about up here towards the north around Iowa. That's putting down some snow right now across central Iowa and up through northeastern Iowa. And that's going to be pushing, uh, maybe just clipping the northern half of our viewing area, just uh, dusting, if anything, picked up out of this system for our neck of the woods as this will begin to push off towards the uh, east and northeast, impacting the folks in the Chicagoland area. So that won't be much of a concern for us and our next weather maker will arrive as we head through uh, late Sunday evening through the overnight hours. And this is the wind forecast. We're going to start this at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And what we're looking for here is those darker reds and getting towards the purples. We're seeing the strong winds. So we're seeing a, a little bit of a blustery a day early on Sunday. Winds out of the southwest allowing those temperatures to warm into the 40s. But check this out. The winds will die down as we get towards the late afternoon hours on Sunday. But then we have this out towards the northwest. Some very strong gusty northwesterly winds will begin to enter the Iowa area as we head through the evening hours on Sunday and they will push farther in towards the uh, tri-state region bringing with it sustained winds of about 30 miles an hour in some cases. So extremely blustery conditions out there and also this will be the next big thing we're talking about the temperature. So we're going to start this at about 1 a.m. this morning. So about 20 degrees here in Quincy as we get towards the 1 o'clock in the morning. We'll put this into motion. You can see temperatures warm Warming up into the 30s and 40s through the day on Sunday, we're going to be seeing temperatures uh, possibly reach into the mid 40s. This model is trending that down just a little bit. I think we will see temperatures warm into the mid to uh, mid 40s, mid to lower 40s. But then as that cold front pushes through, check out these temperatures falling into the single digits near zero for Monday morning high temperatures. And that's going to be accompanied with those 30 mile an hour sustained winds out of the northwest. So wind chill will indeed be a factor and temperatures don't rebound much through the day on Monday. We're seeing them sit pretty much in the single digits for high temperatures on Monday and just con contrast that for, to what we're going to see on Sunday with temperatures around 40 degrees. So very uh, different weather expected. Snowfall, not expecting much of that with this system. The snow pushes up through the Chicagoland area with this batch we're watching right now this evening. And then we watch some snow, uh, some light snow, not much to speak of with this, maybe mixing with some rain as temperatures will be kind of warm, but that skirts out the area pretty quickly. And snowfall, again, not expected expecting much. They'll pick up the majority of that around the Chicagoland area, maybe a dusting, uh, just a little bit of snow here across the tri-state. So overnight temperatures will be warming up from about 20 degrees, getting close to 42 for our high tomorrow here in Quincy. Breezy conditions, a northwest wind 10 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow night, Calling for the goose egg, windy conditions, partly cloudy with some flurries, wind chills minus 20 to minus 30 out there. So bundle up, find those scarves. If you haven't already put those away, we are going to need those for sure. 
as we head towards the early morning hours on Monday, expecting very breezy conditions out there. Winds sustained around 30 miles an hour, Stephen. It's going to be quite a blustery one out there. And the interesting thing is just because we were going to be seeing temperatures around 42 tomorrow and to see them fall back into the single mm. digits, barely getting out of the single digits for high temperatures. So bundle up indeed. Yeah, when you showed that time lapse and it just dropped down at night, I was like, oh my gosh, that's cold. Yeah, that is it's just extremely cold. And uh, we're going to see uh, hopefully this weather pattern breaking. But then sometimes when we see that happen, we talk about more snow. So it's kind of, you know, kind yeah. of a trade off. Do you want the cold temperatures or the snow? Exactly. All right. Thanks, Jerry.